I think if you're looking four or five, you know, six years out, uh, there's, there's ample research to show, and, and the traction is there, that the mobile web, if you will, is going to outpace the traditional web uh, in terms of usage. Uh, Gartner predicts that's going to tip over in, in 2013. Uh, I know that it's part of our, what we call our 2020 vision plan. So when we're, when we're mapping out where do we think the industry is going to be in 2020, uh, I mean, we believe that the mobile is going to be bigger than the traditional web because of uh, the ability to take it with you wherever you go and because of you know, the interaction that you can have with it. It's a different type of web experience because you're not just browsing what somebody has, has given you, but now you have an ability to you know, convert that into a phone call or convert that into easily very easily shared. I mean, you can't launch a, an iPhone app today without seeing a, how do you want to share this article? Facebook, Twitter, SMS, uh, or email. And, uh, and so I think that those types of, of things are, are going to continue and that mobile will be, uh, for the next five to ten years, the, the place where the majority of the innovation is coming from. It's certainly where you know, Apple has started things off. But if we, if we, again, look back a little bit and we say, okay, before the iPhone, what was, if I may touch your iPhone, please, please. What, was, what was the number one selling handset? It was the Motorola Razor. And so if you look at the Motorola Razor, the whole way it was bought, the, all the reasons you bought it, you bought it because it was slim, because it was sleek, because it was small and it, it was kind of sheet I mean, and call quality. I mean, people buy the iPhone with the phone being an afterthought. Right. And I think a lot of that, it's like, okay, I'll tolerate a crappy call because of all the other cool stuff this device can do.